on the call for today's contest between Cornell and Bucknell. So third and two for the Big Red on the first offensive series of the game for either team. Handoff and tripped up by his own quarterback, Mays. Goes the running back that time, Devin Brewer, the senior out of Bath, New York. And a great pass. Here's a quick screen. Again, a great defensive play by Pringle. Boy, it's good to have him back at the cornerback slot as he just completely blew up that screen to the junior from Sewanee, Georgia. Giovanni Cunningham, loss of three, the second and 13, big red. Cornell with a second and 10 at the Bucknell 41. Here's a pitch wide to the left, and Bucknell has it sniffed out. Mike Bright Jr. comes slicing in and will drop him for a loss near midfield. Arell, that time unable to get free, but Bucknell's defense was the reason. Yeah, he was definitely the bright spot of that play. He walked in there and found nobody was going to touch him. He is indeed. Second and 10. Here's a blitz. Beveridge going to take off and run. He'll make a man miss. He'll come Kai stepping his way down the far sideline. And he'll pick up a first down gallop inside the Cornell 30 and about the 25-yard line. I don't know if that was a call from up above and Jason Mirren, the offensive coordinator, but whatever the case, it worked to perfection. Boy, he read it really well. He stepped back and then saw the opening in part in front of him and just took off. And, you know, he's sneaky fast. He's not He's not lightning fast speed. We've seen both quarterbacks, Symptom Felter and, of course, Beverd, who started. Your thoughts early on about both? I, I think that's why you're seeing both of them. I don't think there's any there, – there's – Good and bad both ways. Here comes a play, and it's going to be completed to Harris. Makes a spin move to gain him the extra yardage as he will shuck past a defensive back, Keenan Clark. Finally get pushed out of bounds inside the big red 12 at about the 11. Pick up of a few yards. It'll be a little pitch on the backfield coming off the far side to the 2, to the 1. And being stopped at the one-yard line that time with one of the neatest plays that we've seen comes the starting tight end today, Adam Barakat, the sophomore out of Los Angeles, California. And Barakat gets his second reception and nearly scores a touchdown. Yeah, that was a really interesting, almost like a shovel pass there. Yeah, sometimes that's why you like to be under center. It'll be a handoff left. No, a fake left. And keeping it right is going to be Tyler Beverett, his second career rushing touchdown. He had one in the spring and Doug what happened there was exactly what I was thinking would happen everybody would look at the back on the give he hand, he does that runs that read option so very well hides that football and then comes around the corner and nobody sees him until he's about 10 yards deep into the end zone now Buckdale did score a touchdown against Penn but the point after was missed here comes the nice replay as Beverett faked it to Baker and just walked in Send his tight end, Fitton, off to the left. Hand it off to the left side. Harrell, or excuse me, uh, going to be a trip up by the time on Howard as he was knocked in the backfield. And Will Oler, who, of course, had a great first game up at Sacred Heart, and really called his name much here. He's been a little banged up, but boy, he trailed on this play nicely and gets the loss, the tackle for loss that time. 28-21. Third and 11. Here's a blitz. Mays is going to be sacked. Sacked behind the line that time. Crosses in the slot to the left before wideouts, not five. Got to protect the end zone if you're Bucknell's defense. Devin Brewer, who had 12 catches before. Here comes a pass over the middle. It's going to be intercepted by the Bison. Searcy, he'll fall down and he will snuff out a would-be scoring opportunity for this big red. That looked like what Kinney did in a big drive last week against Yale. That ball was the first one I saw forced all day long. That one was forced, did not check down, went straight to the receiver and did not look away. You watch, he'll go back to pass. He's looking at the receiver the entire time and then it was read perfectly on the defensive side and almost had an opportunity to bring it back and then saw the the red come at him and then just decided to go down it could be a blitz here five guys at the line of scrimmage i think you have to if you're cornell but the middle of the field could be open with one man here's symptom felter has time throws it down the near sideline it's a jumping ball and it's going to be caught for a first down oh my almighty the freshman speedster from georgia came up all peaches that time that was a beautiful pass right on the money only where his receiver was going to get it looks him down fires it up there and drops it on a dime right between the two orange clad hands and what a replay by our espn crew marcus owens defensive coordinator for the big red it'll be a pass man wide open down the far sideline and gaining a first down and more 
into uh, Big Red territory. It's going to be McCrate, and they are targeting Matt McCrate. Maybe that's because Cornell trying to respect people like Dom Lyles. Pick up a 15 on that. Back to pass, rolling again is Simtefelter, plans, throws. Oh, my goodness! What a diving grab by Owens! He He's Houdini, in. folks! Wow. wow. I, I never thought he was going to be able to drag a toe there. 19-yard pickup. It is as if he was Fred Belitnikoff with stick him all over his gloves. Wow. And then gets there. Just hits the knee right down before he rolls out of bounds. What a great concentration. Pick up a three, second and seven, hand up in it. He waits, he breaks, he fights, he spins, he churns, and he'll get it close to a first down for the Bison. Well, neither team has gone for it on fourth down, but Buckdell on fourth and one, trailing by three. In field goal range, appears will go for it. It'll be a handoff left. Baker pushes a pile forward. First and 10, Gray. Then it back in to the right of Symptom Felter has led this drive all the way. He'll rolling right. He's been successful. He'll go left. Man wide open. It is touchdown. But now, first ever career touchdown grab for the tight end. Christian Spagnardi, the freshman out of East Pennsylvania. Allen down Central Catholic and Bethlehem. Kevin? Yeah, the ACC product did a nice job of just staying on his route. All the flow goes to the right-hand side. He just drifts all alone. Nobody really sees him. Lobs it right out there and easy six points. Big Red had a big turnover last time in the end of the first half. Can Bucknell force another? Only interception this year by the gray-clad Bison. On homecoming 2021, Mays has all day, flips it downfield, man wide open. It's going to be intercepted! Here comes Deary down the near sideline. He'll get a bevy of blockers. He'll cut it to the middle of the field. He'll make a man miss. He'll cut it in the middle. He'll slide past a man at the 30 and then be dropped at the 28. And there's your second pick against May. Doug, watch this. Watch this if we have a chance to look at it again. You'll see the quarterback never looks off his receiver. And that time... Deary just read the eyes of the quarterback and stepped back right there. The whole time he's looking at the receiver, Deary makes a step back, adjusts, leaps, picks it off at the apex of the of his jump. We talked with Sterling Deary this week on an In the Herd feature, and he said, I go, what do you want to do here, Sterling? He goes, I want a pick. He had a pick six against Lafayette here his freshman year, got carried by his lineman into the end zone. <laughs> this time he diced and sliced his way after picking off his second career pass. Wow. Well, here comes a blitz possibly by Coach Backus, the defensive coordinator for the Big Red. Long count, play clock at four. Here comes Simpton Felter, has time, fires. McCrate makes his third catch today. Be very close to a first down as McCrate will lose his helmet. Yeah, but he's going to get the first down, I think. It's very close. That is a big third down conversion, if that's the case, at this, from six yards out. They're moving the chains. Wow, huge third down conversions on the last two drives for the Bison. Just camped out there and then literally got hit and his helmet ripped off. Uh, Holt Fletcher, the linebacker, staying home to avoid uh, to stop that end around from the quarterback. But they going for it on fourth down. Hand off, Muser, and he has it, Kevin. He wow. just burst up the middle. Muser almost had 100 yards against the Ivy League's Quakers two weeks ago. Gets a big first to 10 for the Bison on fourth and four. Pitzel that time is the man that made the block. He's downfield three yards, clearing the way. It looked like a snowplow. Watch this hole off the right side. You can see there he is all the way downfield as far as the running back. You don't see him until he's three, four yards downfield. And the other thing is, he's a lot quicker than people think and a lot stronger than people think. Symptom Felter takes the snap, hands off. No, he'll fake it. He'll run around right in. He'll dive for the pylon. Touchdown, orange and blue. And Buckdale has scored touchdowns on back-to-back up opportunities in this coming after a huge pick by Sterling Deary. That is a key call not only in this game, but to put it on record for the rest of the year. Simpton Felter is not the guy you expect to run that type of play. So I think you uh, open it up here a little bit and maybe try and hit that tight end in the slot. No, they do hand it off. No, Kenny will keep He fumbles the ball in the end zone. It's a loose ball. Who has it? Bucknell's got it. 
to the Buckdale Bison, cover it up. It appears they do it for a touchback. It is! Buckdale ball is Kenny was hit at the goal line, and the Bison recover it in the end zone, it appears. And, you know, Ben Allen, who was injured earlier in this second half, with the cramp, comes up with one of his biggest plays in his young career. The, wow, personally, I think going to be an all-Patriot League player, comes up with a big recovery there, and Kenny was hit, and the old term is head over heels. Well, that almost applied heels over head that time as he fumbled the ball, and there is an injured Buckdale player. Well, now, watching the replay, the one thing you want to watch is what was his knee down before? Because all the replays are all the... The ball was loose before oh, he's he got to the goal That's line. definitely a fumble. Buckdale has five defensive backs in an umbrella formation. Here is Kenny. Goes Dave down the middle. It's up for grabs, and it's going to be intercepted. Ball game. Buckdale picks it off again. As that time, stepping in front of the pass by Kenny, going to be Ethan Robinson, freshman out of Montgomery, New York, and Bucknell, unlike Cornell, which has 51 senior or fifth-year seniors, a lot of youngsters, 30. Two, basically, freshmen on this team. 75% of the team are freshmen and sophomores, and this freshman held on to it. You know, that ball came out of uh, Kenny's hands funny. I don't know if he got hit along the way. After the timeout, it'll be second and 10, Bison. Leading it by 14. Handoff, breaking it for a first down, and that could be the ball game is Jared Cooper. And once again, it's the running backs that really... And in the offensive line, this offensive line has blocked pretty well for the probably the last three quarters. It was great blocking up front, and you see a couple of good seal blocks. Going to lead Ray Buckdell. A long way away, but able to pick up Ray for the orange and blue. Buckdale gets the fight song there, and the Bison will win their first game in the 2021 fall season, knocking off the Cornell Big Red 21 10.